Admiral Pirate Captain Bucko Drink has finally made a name for himself. People far and wide flock to see the riches of our crew. But of course, with this many allies and friends in such a bustling pirate sissy, we're going to attract a lot of enemies as well. But I think at long last, we're finally ready to head out there into the world and make these people know the name Bucko Drink. I mean, the goal, of course, was always to get the other pirate kings to bend the knee to Bucko Drink to add their ships to his fleet. It's the most pirate thing of all. We could come here and we could build up ships and armies and fleets, or we steal from other pirates. And every time we beat one of these pirate lords, we get a very special reward. I'm sure you can figure out what it is. If we're going to go for anybody, our neighbors, the privateers, are probably the right one to go for. Imagine all of this in Bucko's empire. And now that we've started patching up all our people, don't get me wrong, they're not good. They're certainly better than they are, but they're not good. Now is a good time to start attacking. Or to think about start attacking. Obviously, Bucko's going to be leading the fight, right? I think we need some better stuff. Right now, he's wearing a buccaneer's blouse, and he's got a brown pirate hat that's just about to fall apart. Yahar! Armor time! Oh, Right, yes. No, we'll make the gadgetry. That's a, that's a good start, I suppose. So if I'm not mistaken, this musket-proof helm can look uh, very appropriate for Bucko. I want to do something else with it as well, but for Bucko, this could look pretty good. Made out of the finest viper metal. That's plasteel to you and me. It's probably a little better than that cloth fancy dress that he's got on right now. I'll be honest, I don't know how he survived this song. This is kind of pathetic, really, Bucko. And kapow. <gasps> That is a masterwork. Oh, Bucko, drink. Look at the size of that hat. And everybody knows the bigger the hat, the better the pirate. We're finally going to queue up some actual good armor. I'll make some flak vests for the time being anyway. Scout armor, Kraken armor, Davy Jones's armor. I think we actually bought some back last episode, didn't we? Yeah, look at that. Metal Kraken's helm. What does that look like with a pirate theme applied to it? That's the, that's the important part, right? You can't go out there just dress like regular people. No one will take us seriously. <laughs> Unlike when he's got that enormous hat. Oh, shit. Look at that one. Corsair. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. Let's try it on the David Jones helmet, which is cataphract to you and me. All oh, right. Okay. Of course, we've already got that one for Butch. Um, well, you're a pretty good fighter. Yemo's pretty good as well. Really, we want to give it to... We want to give it to someone who's going to be up close and personal. Maybe Sire gets the really spooky helmet. I actually kind of like that. It's fucking frightening, though. Oh, my God. I mean, it's a giant skull, after all, and that is the symbol of our flag. She's a very scary lady. Please go. <laughs> very frightening. And then, of course, when Bong Water comes of age, we'll give you that uh, Eastern helmet. I'll just put that in a case in your bedroom. That was a gift that Bucko bought for you, my friend. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just put it in the fucking box. Just put it... Oh, critical! Critical! Allow all! Put the helmet in the fucking box! No! Sire! I've had a non-stop headache for about three days now. It's why there was no episode yesterday, because I felt like my eyes were about to fall out of my head. Uh, this is nonsensical. This is, this is, I wonder why. Really, I sometimes just wonder why I constantly have a headache. Put, just put it in the fucking box. Oh, well, fuck off then. Forget it. Forget the display shelf. <sighs> maybe it's too big. Maybe, I, maybe it's just too large to put in the box. That would make a lot of sense. It's an enormous marine helmet. Our stockpile is filled up with, like, treasures and plunder. Bone armor statues, phonographs, and, and portraits, and Pandora's box. Fuck it. <laughs> Bucko drink. Crack that box open. What story idea for you? Pirate opens Pandora's box because X marks the spot and they think it was treasure. Boom. I don't think one ship chunk for Pandora's box was a worthy trade, but there we are. Um, what have we got here? These are all fruits that give you uh, new mystic powers, right? And then we've got a skill anchor for healing. Maybe we give it to Bung Water? Someone in the comments did say that they like the idea that Bongwater becomes a doctor because it was Bongwater's mother who died because of medical malpractice. So Bongwater is inspired and, and doesn't want it to ever happen again. Ooh, your spaceport beacon has detected a shuttle approaching your spaceport on auto nav. Transponder has been disabled and all attempts to contact crew on board may have failed. However, kinematic analysis of the shuttle's trajectory and acceleration suggests it holds a heavy cargo. Give me some never. We would never turn down the potential treasure for potential pain. We'll never do that. Oh god, here it comes. Up, uh, maybe draft everyone up. Except for Yeti. Maybe draft everybody up. What is this? Content's unknown. What we've got to go and... What we've got to do? Crack it open. Oh, dear. Uh... Oh! It seems this shuttle contains a small assortment of useful things. Three gold chests! Pig voice fruit! Oh, my God! Plunder and treasure alike! Oh, well, that was... Bizarre? I don't know what I expected, but that wasn't it. Well, thank you, lovely ship. You see, always trust in suspicious things. If something is too good to be true... You can just forget about that. Don't worry about it. You know, a person who sends you emails about all that money that you've that you mysteriously inherited it? Just go for it. You never know. Take a gamble in life. 
So we're going to do the farms and shuffle them right over here. That way we can take use of some of this uh, this bountiful dirt. And like right here as well, we'll have the vault. That's, that's pretty much as inland as it's going to get realistically short of like sl slapping it right there, which won't make any sense. That way it's right next to the rum production, kind of close to Bucko's mansion, kind of close to the pirate ideology room. Ah! Bucko, stand down. Stand down, Bucko. What are you doing, Tide Public? You're going to go and beat up that enormous... Parrots. Okay. Okay. This, this weapon is getting a little bit out of hand here, Bucko. Tide Bubble, you're all right. Just a little bit of a shredding now and again. Let the parrot deal with it. These people are too reactive. They're too reactive, for God's sake. Now instead, we've got an enormous fucking angry parrot. Brilliant. Okay. Hold on. Okay. See, that wasn't Bucko. That was the parrot. Okay. That was not Bucko. That was the parrot. Boom. Oh, my bees. <laughs> oh. That fucking parrot ripped his leg clean off. Oh, no, it's Bucko. It was, it was Bucko. God damn it. <laughs> okay, I'll cringe. Oh, we're going to have to uh, tend them right there, my friend. Tend them right there. Oh, we, need a, we need a better doctor. Actually, Bucko's a good doctor. Bucko, come back. Cringe can rapidly rebuild the bees. <laughs> right. Are we all good? Are we all fine now? How's Tide Bubble doing? Tide Bubble's led down and waiting for medical assistant. God damn you. How long until my doctor is... Ready for work. In fact, you can just self ten. What are you doing? Get up. How long until bong water can do doctoring? It's like 14, right? Bloody ages yet. Yeah. Bloody state of this place, man. Honestly, we've, we've, we've ended up doing more damage to our own people. Are you fine now? Are you good? Go lie down. <laughs> These limbs being blown off has been friendly fire. I will never get Bucko to drop that cannon over his cold, dead body. Might be a casualty after all, and it might be my bees. Fuck your wall. Fuck your wall. We need that for bees. God damn you. They're on the floor. Oh, the whale. The pond whale. Oh, I'm so sorry, pond whale. We'll go throw it in the ocean in a second. There you go. There you go. There you go. Boom. Where are the bees? Who's moved the bees? Mild drone. Temperate queen. Boom. Okay. Master cringe. Sorry. We're not going to focus on the bees this series. If we could just get bees that could make gold for us, imagine the riches we would earn. Bucko's closest, uh, tightest held secret. The BS golden bee would actually be superb. We've got two ships right now. We've got the mad sardine and the mad muckfrill. I'm going to rename the mad muckfrill to the golden bee. I think that is uh, Golden golden Bee, thank you. Before we begin Bucko's Grand Crusade against the Privateers, we've got to get our people a bit more equipped, right? They're, they're falling apart. We've got to get them some actual armor. At the very minimum, some armor. Maybe some better weapons, too. So we're going to send Mr. Cringe over to Cat's Butt and pick up their plunder. Oh, there's barely enough to make it worthwhile. Uh, we're not going to send Mr. Cringe over to Cat's Butt and get the plunder. We're going to send him to go do a little trading. Are these updated? No, not since we last visited. No, I went to all of them, right? Ah, shit. Well, we'll see what they've got. We need, like, a little extra steel, which I'm sure we can make work. Ooh! Mr. Cringe's birthday present! Hello! 4,000 silver! And actually, that was very coincidental, because I sent Master Cringe off trading in the wrong boat that didn't have any silver on it. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! Bring me that. Thank you! 4,000 plunder. 4,000 plunder just to solve a bloody scar in this idiot's brain. In theory, it should automatically target the biggest problem, right? Uh, this better not be 4,000 silver to solve a scar on your leg. Scratch was cured. Scratch in your brain? Scratch in his brain. Yes, good. Back up to 7 of 10 efficiency. Well, that's really good. Nice one. There you are. We just need um a bunch more of those and you'll be back to normal. Sorry, where were we? Let's, let's build Bucko's army. For God's sake, we've got people to conquer. Oh, yeah, no, let's also eat some of these and then sell the extras. So what I'm going to do is I'll draw some different graphics for the um for the for the devil fruit that gives uh like like psi powers and then the devil fruit that use the skill anchors because they're all just defaulting to the same thing basically. What a trust is really good as well. We've got a skill anchor for healing. Shall we use that on? Should we use that on Tide Bubble, or should we save it for Bong Water? And then all of this crap are just the, um, these are just the, the gene packs, aren't they? And I'll be honest, I don't think we want any of these. We could just sell the lot. <laughs> They're all pretty terrible, given that you can only ever eat one of them. Then you're locked in forever, right? Bang, go, Cringe, go. Bring us an army worthy of Bucko. Now, because of his cut scars gone, and because yesterday we did those all the day before, the day before yesterday, been very unwell, okay? Uh, now we can, in theory do some really, really strong trading with Cringe, especially now that he's got that uh, psychic reader going on as well. We don't have a clockwork leg, but I can certainly give you a peg leg. What about the Bucko? Have we got anything for big man Bucko himself? Vigor augment to give those uh, that extra immunity doesn't really seem necessary. Give him a hook. Go rid of his hand, give him a hook. I don't think that'll help out too much. Clockwork eye. Maybe they need to stop finally shooting our own people. And as someone did rightly point out early in the series, they wear the eye patch so they can keep their keep keep their, their 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 dark vision and then their day vision 
for when they go down into the deck. Please stop bringing your lunch into this hospital, for God's sake. I mean, shit, we've got an incredible doctor. In fact, a bo 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 <laughs> your name again? Bongwater. Now that Bongwater is, is old enough to do that, I wonder if you gain experience for doing, like, nurse work. Like, that's going and, like, feeding the, the, the people, making sure they're clean. Kabang, there you go. It's only a peg leg. But a peg leg is a great sign of prestige in the pirate world. You've got your galley master's nose. And then... Bucko Gun Knight. It's only a clockwork either, so I don't think it's... Oh, no, it's 150% efficiency. Oh, my God. I was going to say it's not very good, but I take that back. Oh, maybe you'll stop shooting our people now, Mr. Bucko. I don't think we've really got anything else. The Iron Belly is more like a food processor. Damn, that could be good for somebody with a high hunger rate. It's better to give it to someone than no one. I'm going to give it to Saya because she's already a robot lady. Uh, Dr. Tybo will come back. She's already got one. Never mind. Bucko, my boy. I've got another gift for you, my friend. The spoils of plunder. Oh, Tybo, if you fuck this up, you're in a lot of trouble. Kapow. 15 healing. That's what we like to see. We've gone from no doctor between now and last episode to just like an incredible surgeon. This is great news. Fly, cringe, fly. Hello there. An arms dealer. You don't say. These people are on the list, by the way. The wealthy landowners. They're on the list of people that we're going to conquer. Insatiable libido, though, I think would be quite appropriate for Bucko. Probably not the most ideal one. Prestige marine. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is the type of shit we're talking about. Bang. Give me that uh, Give me that fancy mono sword as well. I'm sure we can swap that out for someone. And then all I've got to do is sell you enough to try and cover the cost of 8,000. Oh, my God. What is that? Sailcloth Resurrector belt. Inject some... Oh, my God. And because they're red, they must have been worn by the red coats when they turned up. Holy shit. We've got two of them. Probably from their cataphracts, right? Oh, well. Shit. I mean... I'll happily take one of those for Bucko Drink. Good luck killing him now, you big pirate bitches. We're so close. We're almost there. Um, give him, a, give him a little bit of treasure. A little bit of treasure. It breaks my heart to do it, but you know what? You gotta spend a lot of treasure to make a lot of treasure. Boom. Butch, my friend, that prestige stuff is for you. You know what? Let's get this sorted right away. The Davy Jones helmets. I mean, that's prestige cataphract. Give it to Tide Bubble and Yeet more? Show me some Corsair stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Look at Butch now. Oh, my God. You look amazing. Right, so I can wear that scout armor that you've dropped. That's fine. Everybody's got that to some extent. Damn, I do like the skull helmet, but for Sire, I feel like she should get some cataphract gear. She really, really should. Metal Swanky Davy Jones helm. Oh, right, it's just the Corsair style applied to it, isn't it? Um, well, look, let's flip it over, and we'll decide. Oh, I'll just give it to Yeet more and Tide Bubble. We've got, to, we've got to take what we can get with these combat characters. Clockwork arm, is that good? That seems good. 150%. Give me a clockwork arm, you big bitch. Bucko's on the warpath now. Give me that Kraken's helmet. I'll be taking one of those. Um, that's kind of it, really. <laughs> I don't think I want anything else. Tourniquet, uh, yeah, I mean, that's good. That stops them bleeding out, so that'd be quite nice. And you know what? I'll take that golden chest as well. I think I'm more than happy with that. Oh, no, two skull anchors for healing. I do also need some metal, but I don't want to fill up the ship with that this early. Oh, shit, we can't afford it. And because we're on the Bucko Warpath, I've thrown down a little uh, corridor, defensive corridor here with the windows. We can obviously stand by the windows and shoot out of those. What do we, have we got sandbags? It's called a sack of sand. That will do it. Thank you. Plenty of options for defensive places to stand and shoot our enemies. So what have you got there? You've got charge LMG. You've got an anti-material rifle. Butch has the big hammer. Sire has the golden anchor. Bucko's got his shooter. Salty, you need something. You also need something kind of appropriate for a ah, pirate chef. Hold on. Go and equip that crystal cutlass for me. I think if we do one of these, uh, look at that. Boom. A proper cutlass for you, my friend. Oh, you've got terrible brawling skill. Well, that's the best we can do for now, I'm afraid. Which is more valuable, cataphract helmet or chef's hat? Really makes you think. <laughs> is there any wonder our people are getting ripped apart? Look at those freaking resurrected belts, though. I'm giving one to Buck, I'm giving one to Sire for, I think, fairly obvious reasons. There you are. And we've got a range shield belt there, too, we can give to a, uh, a long range character. Look at that. With that, everybody is a lot safer and a lot happier, and we can make a horrible mistake, and Bucko can come back from it. In fact, you can have this boarding shield that Bucko had. Rather than be able to resurrect and take a few more hits and then maybe die anyway. If we're starting Bucko's Crusade, anybody we capture, we're going to need to convert. If we're going to convert them, we're going to need ourselves a little more treasure. We ready for this? Because last time this happened, it went it went terribly wrong. It was a total mess. Oh my god, not even remotely close. But you know what? These are people that we could potentially kidnap. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you all. Come up front, squad. We should be able to hold them at the entrance to the base here. Here we go. How's it going, Butch? How are we looking? Butch's X speed, 104%. Okay, keep going. I believe in you, Butch. Nice. Okay, we got to try and take these people alive. No pressure there, Bucko. 
<laughs> if you don't mind, big man, I'd like to take one or two of these people alive at the very least. Why can't you just stand in the door frame? What the fuck? Uh, hold open. Stand there. Nope. Won't let me do it. All right. Never mind then. Carry on. Live your life. Ah! Bucko, I swear to God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Well, we've got a couple of people we could try and convert. I think it's at times like these we just get Bucko into a fist fight, isn't it? I think it's times like these we... No! Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> I thought that was the end of Space Admiral Captain Bucko drink. Let's go, Combat Command, then. Turns out we're actually going to need this quite desperately. I was thinking we might want to uh, save it till next raid, but we haven't really got a choice, have we? Um, yeah, melee characters. Let's go search and destroy here. Forget about that a second. We're halfway there, more or less. Boom, they're, they're fleeing, they're fleeing, they're fleeing. We're good. How you doing, Bucko? You were just speared with a harpoon. Um, it's okay. I got him in the mechanical leg. Combat forces come forward. Butch, let's go back and keep the hacking going. And then I think with Yeti, Bongwater, etc., let's start capturing some people. Did the prison end up working? No, but you know what? God damn it, we're not taking them all the way down there. That was the whole point of this prison. Never finished it off. Got a little distracted with the with the bees and the hospital and just about everything else we've been doing here, okay? I think we've got three of them and Sidesweeper and Bucko have self-tended. Do you think we can get this other one too? Well, hold on, Tide Bubble, let's get over here and let's get them captured first. It's quite a quick journey. This was Big Brain. What happened to Solsey? Your nose? No! We just gave her that fancy nose, and in the first raid, it's been shattered. I'm going to scream. <laughs> Let's give her a really fancy bionic nose, and it immediately got shattered. Fuck's sake. Oh, you are not going to survive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it was close. It was close. It was worth a gamble. Here we are, round two. We're almost hacked to the extent I think it's probably the best play. Oh, to keep Butch on there. No, come on. Come up. Come and help. Well, there's one down. <laughs> Off to a great start, eh? Uh, Solsey. Solsey. Uh, you think you could execute Cryobubble for me? Get him. Get him. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Nice. There you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Let Bucko come out. Shit. Did that not work? Oh! Salty got it. Totally reversed. Tire permanent injury. Where? What? What? She's at the top fighting? Oh, shit. Fair enough. Her brain got mangled. Her brain got mangled. Actually, she's not doing too bad. She lost... Uh, why did she have 11 brain power? More brain power than everyone else. Well, that's good to know. Um, well, let's start grabbing some people then. Here we are. Actually, fantastic work. I'm so happy with that. Blew down four seconds. Well, I don't think we'll be saving you, but I think everyone else is good though, right? Amazing. My God, so I got battered. Look at that. She's doing okay though. Kind of annoying that we have to buy <laughs> yeah, another healer, Max Aaron, but that's all right. These things happen. Now with Master Cringe's big brain, uh, uh well, brain, with all those other extra things we've given him, like the, the beautiful body, the Barnic Eye, I think, has a social impact up by 25%, same with negotiation ability, the Mystic Oracle, given the negotiation and everything. I think we might win over some prisoners. Kind of curious to find out what our wealth score is now when you get back, because I imagine our colony wealth has blown up quite a bit. Um, yeah, it's fine. 378,000. That's pretty good. I think 400,000 was the baseline wealth. So that will be... We're, we're pretty much there. And with that, kapow. Oh, my fountain. Well, I suppose there's nothing that can really be done about that, is there? Bollocks. How annoying. 33% to 0.17%. My man. What are we looking at now, then? So one is still relic on the map. Master Cringe's conversion power at 454%. Colony wealth factor. Look, like I said, the baseline was 400k or something very similar. That might have been 350k. Colony wealth factor is 99%. So we're there. We're there. All we have to do is deal with this enormous amount of raiders every day. And now Killer is done. We just kick you out of the bloody base. You piss off. And then in theory, you'll go and tell all of your pirate friends, maybe, maybe, just maybe, believe in Bucko Drink. Oh my God. <laughs> we would just go for the Forsaken Corporation first. How many we got? We got six. We converted one. We're basically halfway there once the prison's empty. So maybe we take a big fuck off boat. We've got to sail quite far. Try and capture seven of them. We send three or four boats. We capture seven of them from three bases. And then that's them converted over allies for life. Servants of Bucko Drink. You two can build your own pirate fleet. All you need is a beautiful Mr. Cringe with his fancy eye, his fancy brain, and his fancy sexy, uh, sexy eye uh, body. <laughs> Another one. Oh, Master Cringe. Oh, Master Cringe, yesterday was way more impactful than I realized. Or, oh, last episode. What a beautiful man. What a beautiful man. I should really check their, uh, uh what is it, their, their, their certainty anyway. So you're 100%. 
Some of them are already, like, quite close to being converted, and we haven't even touched them yet. Maybe we're just going through the quick ones first, because they're basically already there. That just makes perfect sense. Oh, that sucks. 18 to 0 0.09. God damn it. Okay. We should probably give you that conversion stuff, too. I don't think it works against just casual turning. I think it only works with the um, with the actual turn mechanic, but that's all right. Here. Get, get Bucko's flag back, my friend. Always, there's always that one constant. Bucko's a lovely piano music. And Sire close by enjoying it. It's so lovely. It's so goddamn wholesome. Speaking of wholesome, how's Bong Water coming along? Uh, 11.7 healing? Jesus Christ. And of course, like, good education too. Like, exceptionally high learning. I think I've got, uh, two people on... Yeah, Yeti, both Yeti and Admiral Bucko on, on high learning, so one of them is always going to be down there teaching them. Captain John, Prime Minister of the Pilgrims, wants us to send six people for our next bit of treasure. I mean, it's another 10% to our conversion rate, huh? Thank you for using the spaceport. Thank you for paying for fuel as well. I appreciate that. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I guess we'll send... Oh, no, no, let's not send Cringe. Cringe is too valuable at the base right now. There you go. Get in the sloop. It's an ancient complex. I can't imagine... Oh, Jesus. Well, uh, congratulations, Yeti. How on earth can Yeti be 2,970 years old chronologically, but they're also bioengineered? Unless, of course, bioengineering was invented 2,970 years ago. Don't check the maths on that. Is that the year 2,400? Oh, maybe that's not too weird. Maybe that's not too strange. Ooh, and there's our scout armor. Very, very nice to see. Gotta make some of the steampunk stuff. I haven't forgotten. It's in the back of my mind. Never understood why these quests, why they make you send a, a minimum amount of people. Surely it should be a, a, a maximum. Does that not make way more sense? Mechanoids! Get him, Butch. Fuck him up. Get him, Salsi. Get him, Salsi. Oh, you poor fools. You poor fools. Bucko, let's get you around here and take this wall off. Careful. Careful. Ah! Don't shoot Salsi. I'm gonna get Bucko to open that up for inevitably when that fuel node blows up. Admiral, whenever you're ready. I'm curious too. What happens if you just shoot that? Oh dear, everything catches fire. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Salsi. <laughs> Shit. Simply blow up the fire. That stops it. You're a revolutionary, Admiral Bucko. You really, really are. This is genius. It's another step done. I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow my dreams of totally kitting out Bucko's treasure room. I mean, it would be awesome to see that much treasure lined up, but holy shit. That would take a long time. Ah! God damn you, the cursed crew. Have we fought the cursed crew before? Wait, are the cursed... Which one of the cursed crew again? They're the war caskets? Well, I guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? Um, hello. They're not. Oh, some of them will be. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, baby bong water. Oh, you son of a bitch. Actually, none of these are war caskets right now. We're good. Search and destroy side. They've already started lighting fire to things. Oh, my God. Okay. Hold on. It's showering already and it's wet. Fire growth per day, 0%. That gives me, that gives me lots of confidence. Kill them. Kill them dead. Kill them all. Kill them now. Salty is already down. For fuck's sake, Salty. Tide bubble is now one with their weapon and named it Dawnbreaker. What, your, your enormous anti-material rifle you named Dawnbreaker? That's awesome. That's awesome, but maybe not the right time. Okay, squad. Um, We're going to have to try and get a little bit of control of the situation here because they're absolutely all over the place. Together, decide to kidnap if they can leave. They're going to try and capture the chef. Where is the chef? Oh, Rita's got the chef. Bucko? One in a million shot, kid. Oh, God, come on. Come on, Bucko. Do it. Do it. Save the chef. Save the chef. Nice. Come on, one more. Well, they're bleeding out. Well, that might be enough to stop them, to be fair. Come on. Oh, come on. The one time I want you to actually hit one of our people. You more take a shot, please. Take a shot. Take a shot. Nice. Nice. Good hit. Bleeding out in 12 hours. Size on it. Size on it. Size on it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, start shooting. That that means they should keep fleeing. Please don't destroy too much of our stuff, for Christ's sake. <laughs> uh, cringe, rescue Salty, because you haven't exactly got much of a weapon. Catfish Chef, go catch a Rita for me. And then the rest of you search and destroy. Beware of Yeet more and their weapon chicken. You named your charge LMG chicken. Amazing. Okay, honestly, fair enough. Fair enough. Live your life. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we've got it under control. That's quite nice that they decided to capture them and then run away when they couldn't capture anyone. I'm not going to give them that same kindness. I'm not going to give them that same kindness. Put them all in prison. Get them converted. What are you doing? No, no, no. Bob, Bob, Bob Walter's helmet. Bob Walter's helmet. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's in one piece. Four out of 15. I think we might accidentally ally with them. Surely not. They're waste of pirates. No, you can't ally with them. It's fine. Don't worry. We'll be slightly problematic if we do, admittedly. Hey, you know what we do need? Oh, some turrets. You remember when I used to build turrets? Those are so good. 
We haven't got any metal on this map, though. That's the only problem. Not only for the prison, mind you, but also for Bucko's Grand Vault. Yes, I'm building it out of wood, because along with no steel, we've also got no rocks. What do you want me to do, huh? We made clay bricks. It's so bloody slow. If I wanted to replace this whole base with clay, we'd be here forever. It's like sell us some, though, huh? Mr. Cringe, buy some bricks from these oh, roboticists. You know what might be more useful? What if we pack up Cat's butt and... <laughs> and we turn it into a stone block mining camp? Seems like it might be a bit more useful than, than the, the plunder they're doing. Don't get me wrong, the plunder's great. We've got more plunder there than we have in the actual base itself. We need, we need bricks. If we get bricks, we can build all these walls out of like a nice, solid material, like the external walls. That will help cut down the fires. We build the vault out of bricks, Bucko's Mansion out of bricks, maybe even the ideology room out of bricks. I'd love to capture some people who can do mining as well, but you know what? I want to ally with someone. I feel like we've got to... Oh, well, unless any are really good at mining, at which point I could be persuaded. Uh, ooh, you're not bad. 11 mining. Oh, that could help just give, bring in a nice consistent amount of steel. Bucko sets up a, a, a settlement somewhere. God damn, I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? We can't keep living life like this, going out there every day buying more and more and more steel. They released a captive. I'm very glad to see that. I'm sorry to hear that, Rita. <laughs> go on, go on. We've got to make them work for us. There's no rush to convert everybody, right? But there is kind of a rush to get steel. Fine, steel, I could do so much. We could get new training. We could build turrets. We could build Vucko's Bucko's vault out of solid steel walls. That'd be a nice change. I mean, I love the fact that we've somehow managed to scrounge up, like, cataphract gear whilst not having uh, any of the research done, or, like, having just a fabrication bench making gadgetry. You can research this stuff without advanced fabrication. Can you really? Huh. This is already kind of a fun twist that we've managed to grab all this stuff through trading and selling the shit that all we've stolen, but we do need steel for other stuff, too. Here's what I'm gonna do. Bong water, boom. Enjoy your healer mech serum. You're up to level 19, basically level 19 healing. Bong water, kapow. Kapow. Do it for bougie bong water. Oh, shit. Congratulations, because Rummy bong water hit level 20 in healing, their bicorn will appear in future colonies as a mythic item called the Mending Bicorn. What the hell? That's the mythic items mod. Does it actually do anything for us in this particular playthrough? No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, we're never going to see that again, are we? <laughs> Who was that? All oh, right. Okay, that wasn't the person that we wanted, but we can get them released. Goodbye. Thank you for visiting. Quietly tell the rest of your crew of the riches of Captain Bucko Drink. Boom. One of 15 of the Cursed Crew. That could take a little while. It's my good friend, Mr. Cringe. He's back with another 600 metal. But maybe this will be the last time we have to scrounge up. We've got the people of Cat's Butt. I had to move them from this island to this island. It was a massive pain in the ass. We've got the people of Cat's Butt mining. Look at this. Black rock bricks. But they can apparently mine metal. They've got the skill for it. They haven't got that much skill between seven people, but it'll do. You have converted six out of 15 of the Forsaken Corporation. I think there was someone else still to kick out. Oh, there was the other one from the Curse Crew. Gotcha. So we're keeping you for the mining skill, which is going to help out massively. So I can start bricking up this base. I think I really want anyone else. We'll just keep going, kicking them all out. Another one. Another one just ready right away. And what about you? Surely you're almost ready to go. Look at this. Oh, Mr. Cringe. Holy shit, Mr. Cringe. You've gone in such a short span from a brain-damaged... Barely usable colonist to actual legend who's probably going to save the day. Ooh, cargo. Is a cargo vessel a bulk goods trader? Hello. Man, I love this mod. What if we just use it all the time? What's the downside, huh? Just makes you feel so much more alive than mysterious cargo vessel up in orbit. They sell a lot of parrots. Listen, I can't commit to the parrots. I need, I need the TPS. We got a lot going on today. Give me that and I'll sell you everything. We have so much junk. I can spend that steel on the most valuable thing of all. Bees. There will come a day when bees can make gold. It's not anytime soon, but it will happen one day, I promise you. And when we get bees that make gold, we can place down this shiny gold floor inside the entire vault. You're going to be so goddamn impressed. And stuff everything with gold, stuffable armor, stuffable limbs. Imagine solid gold bucko drink. What pirate wouldn't want to follow the golden captain? Fuck, maybe that's my gold. Oh, no. Is that too ambitious to make a solid gold bucko drink? I, I mean, I love Saya's spooky helmet. It's like digital skull, which is like a perfect marrying of her being partly robotic, like, like a cyborg and also a pirate. Let's just have a look and see if there's something else that we can do with the Davy Jones helm to make it feel a bit more, you know, like a bit more unique for her. I, I mean, I do like the Eldritch one because that's also kind of kind of piratey, right? A kraken from the depths. I think I just like the, pi the, the, the robot skull too much. I think it's just too perfect. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? But this is the coolest idea I've ever had. Solid gold bucko drink is just 
too good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too good. My my only issue with everything we've done so far is Bucko Drink himself hasn't had any character development, right? And then all the other crew, like Butch, Tide Bubble, Yeet Maul, Salty, they've all done something, right? They've all con contributed in their own way. But Bucko's still just the same old Bucko Drink we all know and love. He just woke up one day and thought to himself, Yar, what if I was made of solid gold? What if, Bucko? What if? We have the technology. Fucking terrible idea. I am totally on board. Let's capture every mining character we can. We keep them. Forget about convert people. We keep the mining characters. We turn the bees into our mining specialists, uh, our gold producing specialists. We get every piece of gold from the face of the planet. We get Mr. Cringe to buy it up as well. I think it actually is still in the ship, right? I definitely have bought up some. God knows where it's ended up here. We might have already used it on some construction here and there. But we've got plunder, which will then sit in the vault, pile it up. In fact, let's crack open these chests. Maybe there's some gold right there. Come on. <gasps> Devil fruits. What the hell? Major cell instability. That doesn't sound very fun. Oh, two of them. Oh, another server for doing piracy, though. Four of them. Oh, shit. Hang on. Let's keep the devil fruits in here, because those seem... I mean, anything of kind of high value like that seems good at good at keeping around. Show me, Bucko. Show me some gold. Bucko, show me some gold. Oh, Vanimatra Power Cell. Hello. Bucko, show me some gold. Bucko, you're going to be golden, Bucko. I promise. None of this is gold, though, is it, big man? Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Maybe the servers could make us a little gold. Very sleepy fruit, fur skin fruit, yellow fruit, skill anchor for planting. That's what we like to see. Loads of major cell instability. Then again, it's a fruit that gives you magic powers and changes your body potentially into rubber. What do I know? Does seem like the type of thing that would give you major cell instability. Yeah, this is what I'm going to say. Uh, let's tick off limbs for all pirates. I've got the research queued up. That's what this 21 lots of research are, right? It's all of the limbs from... Rim Rim. Legendary Bucko Fruit is a permanent work in progress. That's not something I can tick off. Number two, Solid Gold Bucko. God, I'm going to regret this. <laughs> Number three, who did we start with? The Forsaken one, right? Convert, Waster, Convert, Convert, Waster, Pirates, Tub. Bucko. I'm just going to do that, because otherwise it'd be too long and fall off the screen. Over the course of the day, we've, we've massively upgraded people's armor, so I'm happy with that. It's been kind of slow going here, because there's too much traveling around and too much trading. It's a fucking pirate series. Obviously, there's going to be traveling around on boats. It doesn't make for good watchable content, though. It's watching Mr. Cringe very slowly sail across the sea for five days solid. It's not really massively watchable. Tomorrow, we hoist the anchor. We head over to the Forsaken Tor Torrents, kidnap everybody we need to finish this. We bring them on board. Carry on with the bees. We capture some good mining characters to set up the gold mines across the many archipelagos that belong to Bucko Drink. You can't really have archipelagos plural because it already is. And then, problem solved. Solid golden Bucko. <laughs> and, and truth be told, I can't really build much else to the city. I still want to build the, um, this room was for the, uh, the, the gambling, right? And then we've also got to build a server room too, so maybe put that over there. Uh, so this can be kind of the kind of enterprising district. This is the kind of dodgy area of town, like I said, where we're going to have a casino and then um, pirate web servers. But for that, we need steel. And I'm not making any steel right now. A good hard look at Pirate Island because other than a few decorations here and there, maybe changing some buildings, ideally building everything out of stone or at least the defensive walls, that is probably how it's going to be now. I think this is it. I think we've got our Pirate Sessiman. And I've also thrown in Hospitality. Came very highly recommended. A lot of people saying, hey, you can fill up the... Uh, these empty beds, turn them into guest beds. I think that's a fantastic idea. Maybe we'll need a few more houses, but that'll bring in some extra cash on the side. I'm going to leave it there for today. I'll admit, a lot of meandering. Not a lot of stuff getting done. It was kind of designed that way, though, and maybe in hindsight, I went a little bit too hard on the the idea of pirates and a lot considering the implication of pirates. Lots of traveling on boats, though, is very good pirate theme. Lots of stealing, lots of trading. It's all very piratey. Really super entertaining in hindsight, so we're going to do something silly with it. <laughs> something I think this series is needed from the get-go. Solid gold bucko drink, goddammit. And, and you know, yeah, okay, we can convert the other factions and bring them in, but that does just become a grind, right? And I, I want to avoid that if possible. So let's set ourselves a goal. The other stuff will incidentally carry on in the background. That's the best way to approach a lot of things in life. If you've got something you've got to do and it's just ticking off numbers, set yourself something else to do in the background and the other thing will just happen naturally. Thank you for joining me today. That's your life advice. Thank you to Emily. Bunglin Ginger Spanner, Zoni the Beard, Nikki Stick, Smack You, Anthony Fackenthal, Fizzle Buns, Duo Mutt Sixer, Tristan Flanagan, Ruck, Malarkey, and Mouse, Freaking Satan, Illegitimate Custard, Good Doggo, Thomas the Dank Engine, Carbo Supreme, Elias, Mr. Altissimo, 2.0, Bomb Time, Pinus, Mr. Moosh, King Snitch Gaming, and Nash EQ for their supports 
at the executive producer TSL from Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Listen, look, I know I said new series was coming uh, soon. The CK3 is starting basically ASAP on the main channel. Um, look, I've been under the weather. I've had a banging headache for days now and it's not going away and I'm not sleeping very well and it's just one of those things that's just going to have to be put on the back burner because if I grind myself any thinner I am going to be uh, a corpse so please stand by very appropriate that I should mention the corpse of the Crusader Kings series I've got planned though wowee you'll just have to wait and see thank you as well to Dorian Mad Maven Revan ADD Ape Lord of Sofa NZ Smithsy Thomas Holt Andrew McKinnon Plasma Wolf Bleed Vladislav Shatulsky Jason R. Sindersin, Nagakure, and Jake Jake as well. Goodbye.